Hello, gems. Today, we are going to go over the top three items that you should invest in if you want to become a 3D VTuber. The first item I would recommend investing in is a webcam. A webcam is a great investment because it can track your face expressions and your movement with your 3D VTuber. This will increase the experience for your audience visually. The webcam I currently use is the Logitech 930E 1080p HD webcam. Currently, you can find it priced at about $129.99 USD and $110.24 with Amazon Prime. I personally love this webcam and I think it's great for recording normal videos as well as tracking your VTuber. There are cheaper options, but I think this is an all around solid buy for its price. The second thing on the list that I would recommend is a good mic. This isn't exactly a VTuber item, but if you plan on making content pre-recorded or live, it's essential that your audience can hear what you're saying. Audio quality is actually more important than visual quality, so if you had to buy a better mic before buying a webcam, I'd recommend choosing the mic first. The mic that I recommend if you are a newer content creator and not wanting to spend a ton of money is the Blue Yeti. The Blue Yeti was actually one of the first mics I ever had for content creation, and it's super amazing for its price. It's about 109.84 USC at the time of this video, and this is a USB mic, so please make sure that you have a USB port to plug the mic into. And if you're thinking of getting a more advanced setup with your mic, you can get an audio interface and a more expensive mic. I currently use the Scarlett Focusrite 212 3rd Gen. At the time of this video, it is $169.99 with Amazon Prime. This is very different than having a mic with USB ports. I, when I made the switch, I actually couldn't believe it. I didn't know this was even a thing to have an audio interface, which is super duper cool because usually your computer comes with a base audio interface but if you buy an external one, it's usually crafted by people who actually have a lot better idea of what they're doing when it comes to audio. A mic that goes well with the Focusrite is the Stellar 2, which is what I'm currently using, and that's about $199.99 USD with Amazon Prime. You have to be careful because you do need to make sure the mic you're getting has this type of port with your audio interface to be able to be compatible. If you buy a USB mic, it is not going to work, so make sure you check the compatibilities on what kind of mic you're deciding to potentially use with the Scarlett Focusrite. Now let's talk about another option for upgrading your content creation and your VTubing quality. The Leap Motion is a really, really cool device that actually allows you to get hand tracking with your VTuber. Currently, I am using Valve Index controllers, which is not the Leap Motion. The Leap Motion is currently around 169 USD, and the Leap Motion is very cool if you plan on using your hands to gesture while you talk. But if you do plan on doing gaming content, it might not be as relevant for you because it's it's not that great at reading your hand movements. It is a super cool device to experiment with, but I would say to watch my other video about four ways that you can get hand tracking to fully equip yourself with the knowledge you need before making a purchase for any type of VTuber hand tracking. And there you have it. Those are three things that you should consider buying when becoming a 3D VTuber. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time on the Sapphire Star. Bye.